That's right. So African Americans uh, who were freed, uh, enslaved people, made up a significant percentage of cowboys, and they were also early rodeo stars. Ken Kesey wrote a wonderful novel about this, um, but they've been airbrushed out of the narrative of the West, just as they've been suppressed in other histories. As for Native Americans, well, you know the story there. Hitler was very admiring of the way America handled that one. So in terms of what's going on today, Trump and MAGA worship a false image of happier times in America that were in fact happier times only for white people. The cowboy was a white dude serving a white, inherently racist community. And anybody who's ever seen Mel Brooks' wonderful blazing saddles with its black sheriff and Jewish Native Americans, uh, well, that's a great send up of all that. But as America has degenerated into some form of plutocracy, the cowboy myth has lost a lot of its resonance and traction and given way to the gangster. It's not high noon anymore that informs our hero worship. It's more the godfather, uh, which smart people like Chester Himes understood immediately uh, as an allegory of corporate capitalist America. If Reagan was a pale imitation of Gary Cooper, then Donald Trump is a two-bit version of a mafia Don. Besides, he's too fat to be a cowboy. Things are so bad in America right now that the cowboy myth has completely lost its relevance. Instead of there's a new sheriff in town, we got a situation where there's no sheriff in town.